Okay, I'm gonna show you how to make a homemade tattoo gun that works because I've seen another videos where uh, they show you how to make a tattoo gun that is it, it won't work. I, I, I honestly, I tell you, it won't work. This one I made it myself um, a couple of years ago. As you can see, um, it's uh, very simple to make. You don't need too too much stuff. Uh, it works. You can see it does work. And um, I'm gonna tell you what you need right now. Uh, you're gonna need mechanical pencils. You can get this at Walgreens or, or Walmart for a couple of dollars. Um, guitar strings. Um, this one I got it on uh, Walmart for three fifty. It's not very expensive. These are gonna be your needles. Um, black electrical tape. This you're gonna use that to tape your your gun. I like to use black electrical tape because you can stretch it out and it will make it very tight it, it won't wobble uh, you need a spoon just break this part of the spoon you don't need this and this part is gonna be your your vase that is gonna hold your your tattoo gun just bend it at a 90 degree angle you know you're gonna um, try to get a bigger spoon you know this is too skinny but you know that's the only one I could get right now um, you're gonna need a little electrical uh, motor uh, you can get this from a VCR or a remote control car, but I mean, eh, if you don't wanna, you don't have any around, you can just go to Radio Shack and get one of these for like three fifty, five bucks. You know, this is one of the small ones. It's three and a half volts. I recommend you to get one of the big ones, like eighteen. This is eighteen volts. Uh, it has more power and a little button to put on top of the of the motor. You know, you can get this from one of the old shores that you don't need. Uh, you need a cell phone, char cell phone charger. This is going to be your power source. Uh, this one is 12 volts. If you will connect this one to this one, it will burn the engine because it's three and a half. So make sure to get a big one, a big engine, a big uh, motor. I mean, and uh, your tools, you're going to need some pliers, a pair of scissors to cut your uh, electrical tape, and uh, a little piece of sandpaper so you can sharpen your, your needles. Uh, the first thing that you're gonna need is just get the electrical tape, I mean the mechanical pencil, and take all the stuff that is inside, you know, take the eraser out and make sure it's empty. And get the spoon, you're gonna attach the pen to the spoon. I have a little piece of tape here. I'm gonna show you really fast, I don't wanna take too long. Um, you're gonna tape it like this. Make sure you do it really tight so it won't, you know, it won't wobble, it won't move. Like that. You can put more tapes to make it tight, you know. I'm just doing it really fast so I don't take too long. Make sure it looks like this, you know. You can make it shorter, just cut the, if you don't like it too long, just cut the pen, cut this part, and just make this go up. So it will be a little, a little tattoo gun, but I like it long, I don't know why. The motor, you're going to put it on top like this. Like that. And put tape around it. Make sure it's centered with this. I have a little tape here. Let's see. Let's see if I can tape it really fast. Uh, this is how it's gonna look like this something like that you know just make sure to put put more tape in it because you know this is not too much all right and then the next thing that you're gonna do you're gonna get your uh, guitar strain and cut a little piece measure it make sure it's uh, long enough to fit in here and then just stick it through here let me see right here Okay, and then here you're gonna make a you're gonna bend it on a 90 degree angle like that, and then you're gonna bend it again 
so you can make a little hook you see it's a, a little hook and then just cut the excess of the hook just leave a just very little piece maybe like that and then just stick it in one of the little holes it doesn't matter which hole just stick it on one you see and this is gonna be your your tattoo gun when you turn it like this it's gonna make the needle go okay you have too much here just cut cut this part like that you just need a little bit like that this is perfect you see that's your needle coming out so all you have to do now is connect it to your power source uh, make sure the engine is like this so you have your connections on this side I just did it like that I, I didn't notice that I did this um, make sure you get your um, cell phone charger that is uh, the ones that you can split in two you know the ends you need this and just connect it like that one on each side you can get a little switch and radio shack so you don't have to bend and connect to the wall and disconnect every time you want to clean the skin you can get a little um, switch like this and just you know hook the cell phone charger to one side of the switch and the other side of the engine and then just make a little bridge so you have your connection it's very simple nothing hard and that's it you have your tattoo gun make sure that after you use this pen and the needle one time just throw it away don't reuse it this you can spread diseases through it so just don't reuse anything the only thing that you're going to reuse is going to be the motor and the spoon you can get lots of pens that are very cheap just don't don't reuse it please don't don't do it and before you use your needle just boil it boil it with water and soap for five minutes and then rinse it and then boil it again just with water that way you can uh, get rid of any germs and then put it in a jar when you're not you know before you use your your needle if you have a few needles like maybe you do 10 needles put it in a jar and close it so you won't you know get contaminated and that's it uh, as you can see this one works i don't want to plug it to the light because this engine is too small i, I, I will destroy i will burn it but you know it, uh, i guarantee you it works and uh, this is the same with this gun i did this tattoo you know and you can spend less than 20 bucks building a tattoo gun that is going to be reliable um, if you have a couple of hundred dollars you can buy a, a starter kit like this on, on, on eBay this is a very cool looking uh, starter kit and uh, any questions any comments any suggestions just feel free to let me know all right peace